Okay, pull it, pull it. Oh, wow. You know, as a Marine, we, we know we're going to be taken care of. Nice, happy stretch. Yeah. Being in this hospital, you see a lot of people worse off than what you are. And so I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Pull, pull, pull. Traumatic brain injury. Oh. My injury is scary. These feelings, nightmares, terrors not being able to sleep and, and when you talk there's like this yawning sound in the back of your head when you're talking when you have serious conversations i don't want to be injured nobody wants to have something that's going to stick with them for the rest of their life and a lot you know you fear and you fight through it and you try to make it work the best you can we'll work on that you'll get there this va hospital it's top notch they have doctors here that are on the dime that talk to you, specialize in, in, in getting your problems solved and, and, and take the time. And they're there. They're there every second of every minute that you need them. And they're very, uh, they're, I mean, they're very persistent about it. They're making sure that you're okay, that, to take care of the, what's wrong with you. I found that most of my words and most of my feelings and most of my emotions are fought with through therapy. And there's this therapist, Joe, and he, he's relentless. Ready? A little bit more. Okay. Good. Oh, just don't break it. Okay. <laughs> Haven't broken anything all day, Ben. I know. Try to relax. <laughs> but my biggest thing that I contribute to him is I couldn't lift my legs. I'm lying in bed and I couldn't, I had no power in my legs. <clears throat> and slowly after weeks and weeks of yeah. him just lifting my leg up, and me holding it and he's like you're doing good you're doing good and then i'm like this guy's crazy because i got no i can't feel nothing and i just remember this one day when he's holding my leg up and i'm about to tell him not today and by the time i get out not today he's holding my foot up and he's and he's exercising with me and i'm holding it up for like five seconds you know and i'm like hey dad dad's sitting there i'm like look at this look and i'm holding my leg up for 10 seconds you know and you're like why not let's let's keep going He's been my confidant when I've had my hardest days, my hardest times, you know, you need that person to talk to. I mean, it's been him. A lot of people in my job wonder how their family's gonna take things. You're a father, you're a husband. That's tough. This wasn't my first combat deployment. And every time before you leave, you tell your wife. In a sense, you tell her goodbye. But what you tell her what you want to happen if something goes wrong. And so when she showed up here at the hospitals and was traveling with me, she had everything taken care of to where she was in charge. And she was the deciding factor on a lot of things for me recovering. And my wife didn't leave my side. She was there, I mean. If I had an itch to scratch, or I had to shave, or I had to move, or anything. And the nurses, they just, you know, they made a spot for her. And they made sure that she knew how to dress my wounds. She knew how to give me medicine. She knew how to care for me. And, you know, my family and my sisters, they would all come down and visit and be part of it. Family's important. Family's what's going to heal you. Family's what's going to take care of you. Dad around? Watch this, Moo. Watch. Watch me fall on my tail end. Clean. Watch this, babe. Oh my god. <laughs> you You're a patient here for so long, and then you go back to your family. Let's go. He's gone. <laughs> and you have to make your injuries in your life. You have to continue with your life to make it work. David was asking me, "What you know? Where am I? What? Where am I in my life now?" Is basically what he was asking. And 
the recreation therapist says, what did he do? You know, and I say, well, he was a rock climber. Well, then let's see if we can get that done. My reaction was they're going to do what? They were going to let David go rock climbing. I'm thinking like, this isn't safe. He might get hurt. But part of the healing was let the kid go on a rope and hang from it. That's what he loves to do. When he was emerging and he was asking what happened, I said, you are still an active duty airman. And you are still serving your country through your cooperation and your hard work through therapy. Because the men and women who are coming off the desert with TBIs will benefit from what they learned from you. And he gave me a thumbs up. He could have given up, he could have just stopped. He could have gotten angry. And he didn't. And the day that I went to the gym and saw him do that, and he's grinning, you know, from ear to ear and just having a blast at it and stuff like, you know, this is good. This is not a shot in medicine and drugs and stuff. This is therapy through the mind, straight to the heart and the will of the body and everything.